Well, good morning. Uh, today we are announcing the launch of the Little Rock Police Department's new mobile app, Your LRPD. Uh, before we get started, I want to take time uh, to acknowledge everyone here today. Uh, today we have here with us our Chief Technology Officer, Randy Fauché, Police Chief, Crystal Young Haskins, Assistant Police Chief, Wayne Bewley. We also have Major Casey Clark, and also with us today, in addition to Major Casey Clark, uh, Jane Jameson, uh, I'm sorry, Jameson Johnson, who is a vice Atlas One, and also the CEO, Kush Cashray of Atlas One. Uh, today is a, a great day as we talk about technology, uh, we talk about transparency, we talk about more information for Little Rock residents, more information for our media as it relates to public safety here in the city of Little Rock, the state's capital city. This app is a one-stop shop for all police department resources and information. It's available to download for free at the Apple Store and Google Pay Stores. We've invested in this app to, to facilitate better communication between the general public and our police department. Our partners at Atlas One have worked with law enforcement agencies in such cities as Austin, Charlotte, Fort Myers, Florida, and also Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And when we talk about this, uh, Jameson will share more information on how he's related this intel, this information on how we help with public safety, how we help with better communication uh, from many different other cities of what we would call mid-sized and major cities across the nation and how we're bringing this to the city of Little Rock, the state's capital city of Arkansas. Our partners at Atlas One also will help us understand how we continue to embrace 21st century uh, community policing. Uh, this app it falls in line with the third pillar of 21st century community policing, and we want to continue to embrace that from a technology perspective, an information perspective, as well as community relations. App users will be available to view calls of service submitted to LRPD within a 12-hour window. More importantly, users may prefer to set up push alerts for specific areas of interest, like around your home, your workplace, or your children's school. When the LRPD receives a call for service within those specific geofenced areas, you'll get a notification through the app. So essentially, uh, it is really an up-to-date technology forum for us uh, to understand what's going, around, uh, going on around our scenarios and, and around our environments of each day. Users can use this online messaging system to submit crime tips, including photos, videos, and audio files. They can remain anonymous if they so choose. This reporting system is another step in our commitment to improving public safety and reducing crime in Little Rock. As we all know, uh, we continue to give appreciation to the men and women of Little Rock Police Department for the hard work that they do each and every day. We've continued to see a downward trend in reduction in crime. Uh, as we shared last week, we've seen a negative trend. Uh, we're one of a few cities that have seen and experienced this, and this is to the credit of the men and women of the Little Rock Police Department, as well as our holistic approach of how we address crime, both from proactive policing as well as a focus on prevention, intervention, treatment. But in addition to that, with the great work of focusing on our recently announced real-time crime center that we'll have more details in the coming days, uh, this adds to another layer of the third pillar of 21st century community policing. As we continue to focus on this is your LRPD. We were very intentional in that naming of uh, that for this particular app because we want everyone to understand we work for the residents, the businesses, the tourists of the city of Little Rock, the state's capital city. That's why it was named your LRPD because it's your information. It helps with your scenarios, your surroundings as we all focus on public safety within the city of Little Rock. With this app, it also focuses on additional funding as we focus on more information, more dollars, as we find and fund solutions uh, to reduce crime. And so with that being said, I want to take this time now uh, to bring Jane, Jameson Johnson, who is the Vice President of Atlas One, who will share some more information. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, Major Clark. We're going to bring Major Clark to the podium today to give some more information. Hey, everybody, and, I, and I'm going to put this in some more layman's terms. What this is, this is the most, the latest integration of the best technology that we can give. Our hopes is simple. The more information we can give citizens, 
the more information they can give back to us in hopes of making a safer city, a safer community, and helping us solve and prevent crime. You know, some of the, the big, the, the high points that you see in the app, as soon as you open it up, and I encourage everybody to download it, it's free. This is great information. It's our CAD system directly integrated into the programming that Atlas One has done. It will give you a real-time 12-hour rotating window. So if every call, well, almost every call that we're allowed by law to, to let people see that, that goes out in our community, every 911 call, okay? And that's invaluable information because so many times we hear people put out false narratives on social media or maybe not be the voice of truth. So we have, we have made a conscious decision to push more information out faster where people get a true understanding of really what's going on. Uh, you know, our real-time alert system that the guys at Atlas One have developed, uh, I don't know if anybody's got it. We did a push alert just the other day uh, testing the system out. But it's very accurate. It's very precision driven. We can actually, when we start talking about runaways or lost elderly people, we can, we can bring it down, I think, to almost a 10 meter by 10 meter section and highlight that area to hit everyone who has the app. So it's, it's, it's very intentional. It's very targeted. And we feel that it's going to help us do our job so much better. If I could tell the community anything, I'd say this is the new gateway. Now that we live in a time of a computer in your hand and interfacing with people every day through messaging apps or FaceTime, this is the same thing. We are taking a giant leap in the way we have done things in the police department in an attempt to get the community's help in, in making our community a safer place. Um, again, you know, a digital partnership that is our ultimate goal here uh, if I had any other comments I would say this will be you know like the like the mayor said a one-stop shop so basically anything from saying um, there's a illegally parked car to you just witnessed a crime you'll be able to send us direct messages on that get feedback know that we are being attentive you'll be able to find out what division you live in or where you're at and exactly who's on shift and who is responsible for responding to any calls you have. You'll be able to get, uh, for you guys in the media, real-time press releases, our daily batch reports, all of those things, readily available at the touch of a finger. So almost any service that you could get by coming to headquarters, you can now get through the phone. Let's see. Before we have the Atlas One representatives, I also want to take this time uh, to bring Interim Police Chief Crystal Young Haskins to give some brief remarks. Thank you, Aaron. And so uh, this is the last one, <laughs> um, press conference. Um, it's been an honor to work for the city of Little Rock, and this is one of those projects that have really been um, just hopeful that we get it done. Um, it started with Chief Humphreys uh, uh, as a, a brainchild of his, and he brought it to the team. He uh, uh, gave the task to Major Clark uh, to be the gold champion for our department, and then we interfaced and collaborated with the IT department, the technical people. They did all the heavy lifting, <laughs> and uh, Major Clark, provided uh, the subject matter expertise for from a department standpoint, what we wanted to see the app uh, look like. And so this has been a wonderful collaboration between our department. But projects like this don't happen in small rooms and small spaces. Um, it, it took a lot of people to get this work done and, and we're really excited to roll it out um, for the city. And we're so grateful for the partnership with Atlas One. They've been phenomenal partners, very responsive and attentive to our needs and building this for the city of Little Rock. This is built specifically and tailored for us. And I love that. And these, the benefits of this project align as the mayor and Casey Clark have, uh, and Major Clark have both stated with 21st century policing, we're gonna be more accessible to the public. Uh, it increases our transparency. 
And above all, it does um, the thing that we want to do the most, that's build legitimacy and trust in this community. And so I'm so glad that this is happening today. I hate that Chief Humphrey uh, retired before um, it was brought to fruition, but um, this is just another testament of how progressive the city of Little Rock and your police department and the IT department um, are in trying to make sure that citizens have the information that they need uh, to feel safe. So with that, I'm going to turn the microphone over. Um, I'm just, uh, Casey, if I don't say this, I'm super proud of the work that you did on this. Thank you for sticking with it. I really appreciate it. So thank you all for being here today. And briefly, as well as as, us, as uh, Chief Haskins has shared, our technology team uh, played a vital role uh, in this rollout. Uh, they often don't get enough praise. And so uh, to the members of our technology team, thank you. We appreciate you. Uh, many times, uh, being a millennial mayor and a heavy tech user, I'm often asking questions on a number of different things. And I just uh, say thank you again to the IT team. And we'll now have Chief Technology Officer Randy Cloche to just give some brief comments because we always are calling uh, our IT team. So obviously technology uh, excites me. We've, we've had a couple of different apps over the years, but this is a big one. I mean, you can actually pull up in your hand and look at the uh, most recent incidents for calls for services for the police department. And then you can actually click on them and, and add input back to the police department, you know, give a tip, you know. That's what we're looking for with these apps is that interaction with our public. And today everybody has that phone in their hand and has that ability to be a, a help to the city and the police department and solving the crimes that are causing issues in our city. And as we see that the trends are going down right now, this app we hope will make it go down even more. So we, we're encouraging everybody to download it, participate with it, help the police department provide what you see, what you can through the app. Uh, and I think, again, I'm excited from a technology standpoint that we're able to roll out some of these new items. We've had other items like this with web-based, but this is our first police department app like this, so it's exciting. So we want to thank the public for participating, and we really encourage you. If you need help with uh, installing the app, you, you can get a hold of us through the city phone lines. So we'll help you. We'll talk you through it. Thank you. And finally, before questions, we'll have uh, Jameson Johnson with Atlas One uh, to come before us to give the remarks, uh, and also, again, to Kush Karace. Uh, we're grateful for you and your team and the work that you've done across the nation. Uh, we're glad to be a progressive city, a forward-thinking city, and an innovative city, and to work with a partner like you all. Jameson. Thank you, Mayor Scott, <clears throat> Chief Haskins, and Major Clark. My name is Jameson Johnson. I'm the Vice President of Atlas One. We exist as a company for a simple reason. We believe the only way to truly achieve public safety and to combat crime is to partner with the community and empower them to be a part of the solution. Over the last few years, we've witnessed an uptick in violent crime and nationwide public safety staffing shortages. While the city of Little Rock is not immune to these trends, we applaud your leadership and efforts to proactively tackle these problems. With today's announcement, the city of Little Rock is joining an elite group of cities that are solving these pressing challenges with modern solutions. Not only is Little Rock PD the first public safety agency in Arkansas to announce such an initiative, but they now have become one of the very few public safety agencies nationally that have embraced this sort of radical transparency with the community. We believe Little Rock PD has set the standard for modern citizen engagement and transparency, and public safety agencies across the country will look to them as a blueprint for the years to come. We can't wait to see the results. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Jameson. Um, do we have any questions? Yes, ma'am. Jameson? It depends on the call for service. Um, it, it ranges anywhere from nearly instantly um, all the way to 20 or so minutes. Obviously, officer safety is always important. Um, but we want to get the information as quickly as possible in a safe way to members of the community. Next question. Major 
Christ and his bishop? Well, well let's say this, ma'am. It, it is a new way to present the services we had before, but in an electronic format. So we're, we're in days of old, we always had to interact face-to-face -face or via the telephone. This is just a new way to interact with us, a modern way, so to speak. One last question. James, I know you've got a It was just under $50,000. All right, seeing no other questions, thank you all for uh, today's visit. Everybody download that.